Hi everyone and welcome. In this reading we're going to focus on the collective energy when Mercury turns retrograde and the full moon is in Pisces. Quite a powerful time I feel for the collective. So Mercury turns retrograde on the 9th of September. Quite interesting numerology there, 9-9 which could show endings happening for some people in the collective. But it depends where you are in the world. Um, in the US, it turns retrograde on the 9th of September at 11.38pm EDT. Um, whereas in Europe, across the pond, it will be on the 10th of September, 4.38am UK time, just to be specific there. <laughs> Um, now Mercury turns retrograde in Libra until the 23rd of September. So this is a great time to reflect on relationships or creative endeavours. Libra is a sign of balance and harmony, so it's a good opportunity to focus on this within. However, if we're not focused on healing and growth, Mercury retrograde could cause drama and disruptions in our relationships and communication. This could be aided by the fact that the planet of relationships, which is Venus, is in pragmatic Virgo, urging us to cull and refine our relationships and take responsibility for how we're behaving as well. Now Mercury spends the rest of its retrograde in Virgo from the 23rd of September to the 2nd of October. So this may be a good time to reflect on your satisfaction with your soul mission and your health. As we often say, it's best to avoid starting new ventures or making big purchases while Mercury is retrograde. Instead, it's a good time to complete a project and take time to reflect on new action you wish to take. So it's all about the re's, you know, reflecting, redoing, rethinking, restarting. Um, and about six hours after Mercury turns retrograde, the Pisces full moon lights up the sky on the 10th. Of September. So this could be a good time for release, maybe making adjustments in areas of your life, spiritual awakening and inspired creativity. Just be mindful of the low side of Pisces which could include escapism or addictions that might sort of heighten let's say at this time for some of you. Okay, so there's a little bit about the astrology. Take what resonates there and leave the rest. Um, let's now look at the energy of the collective. And um, we'll start with Mer when Mercury turns retrograde. It's interesting I said about the Rees, we've got rest and rejuvenation. So certainly, as I said, it's a time to reflect for some of you. Take time out, especially in the Virgo energy, which is all about going within. Because um, I feel for some of you, you might feel that you're not manifesting, that things aren't working out for you. You know, your abundance is not showing up. And I feel with journey reversed, for some of you, this is because you're not on your spiritual path. 
you're being guided on your temple path, which has come out there. Um, as I said before about some of you looking at your soul mission, how you serve others, um, some of you are being guided to make changes there. I'm also feeling here healing and alignment. So if some of you are in situations that don't serve you, um, whether this is a relationship or you know, it's an addiction, as I said before, a job that's not for you, um, then, as I said, things just will seem quite stagnant. It's interesting, we've got three, 12 breaks down to a three, and three here. So spirit is really guiding a lot of you here on your journey. I'm getting a sense of indecision for some of you here. Um, maybe taking this time to not move or make drastic action, which is, as I said, is quite um, recommended <laughs> during Mercury retrograde. And um, yeah, we've got man holding a coin at the bottom of the deck. So, some of you are very focused on trying to manifest your abundance through what you do, you know, through your work. 43 breaks down to a 7. So for some of you, you do spiritual work, I feel. Um, some of you are reassessing. You may reassess, as I said about the Rees, <laughs> during Mercury Retrograde, being this energy. Just looking within at what changes you want to make. Okay, let's see um, then what happens when the full moon in Pisces lights up the sky. As I said, um, the energy shift potentially there. Okay, so I'm really feeling, as I said before, spirit around you. We've got seven that's come out here. Um, and the angel of strength supporting you during this time. Um, during this time of being at a standstill, you know, just assessing things in your life. Maybe drawing in people in the spiritual community, um, you know, making a change here, the temple path above. Um, wow, yeah, they're just showing me here, like for some of you, you're being guided to move on from certain partnerships. We've got two there. So relationships for some of you that haven't felt aligned with your energy as some of you have ascended so we've got the stairs here and if you do that spirit saying you will meet your soul family it's beautiful um wow it's interesting how they're linking up here we've got appreciation 
below blossoming in abundance reverse. So some of you are being guided here to be grateful for what you have. This could also be where you're not manifesting. Um, you know, the attitude of gratitude. Maybe some of you could start a gratitude journal if you haven't done that already. Um, where you list things you're grateful for in your life. So then when you put that out there to the universe, it flows back to you. Appreciating people in your life, with community there. And then we, for some of you, we've got Daughter Romance that opens here um, with this full moon energy. But we've got a heart in the cage. So some of you need to open up to this new possibility. Um, that's coming your way for some of you. 33, there, master number. See, so we've got another angel here, the angel of balance, helping a lot of you during this time to not only find balance within, but with connections, because we've got the blue for the throat chakra, it's coming out here. So speaking your truth, um, healing, finding that balance and moderation within. I'm, I'm really feeling addictions here for some of you. Obviously it won't be for all of you, but it could be karmic um, relationships. So this door, we could see it in two different ways. Is it opening? Or is it closing? You know, as I said, for some, this going within is going to make some people assess relationships and close a door and start a new chapter. Okay, so let's um, also get some tarot then. So we'll clarify this energy up here, first of all. Okay, so that's quite interesting, um, the imagery. Notice the heart there and the cogs turning. So for some of you, as you align within your chakras, you're opening your heart to this new beginning in love. For some of you, it's a second chance, um, something that's destined for some of you during this time. Um, I feel some of you have been single for a while. Wow, it's quite interesting. Blossoming abundance reversed. And notice the abundance here. So spirit saying to look at how far you've come. Be grateful for what you have. Um, certainly an energy of looking at what you've invested in in your life. So, you know, whatever that is. Um, blossoming abundance isn't just about finances, you know, it's how do you feel within health-wise, in relationships. It's time to really assess and be honest. So with Journey Reverse, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. It's all about feeling grounded, 
stable, secure, looking with vision um, in terms of where you want to go. But it's interesting, she's looking back. So for some of you, this is why you might be in a stuck energy. You're reflecting, potentially, during this time, revising. For some of you, it could be around a job or a commitment, your home. Wow, this is beautiful. Um, so as I said about the steps for ascension, and notice she's on the top of the tree. So this is showing the lessons, spiritual lessons a lot of you have learnt. Spirit has been guiding you there. Um, wow, notice the moon as well. Divine guidance, definitely getting a spirit guide around a lot of you who's been showing you the way on your spiritual path. Some of you have really been learning a lot in terms of spirituality as well. We also have like a higher level commitment here with community, I've seen that like the Three of Cups. So for some of you, I'm seeing spiritual unions here, aligning with yourself and with your counterpart. Okay, so let's have a look now at these energies. Okay, it's so interesting we've got the moon being highlighted. Um, here's the full moon in Pisces, shining brightly, um, opening this door or closing it, as I said. Um, again, ascension, because she's at the top of a roof, looking out, the world is her oyster. So here, making a decision for some of you around relationships, connecting with your emotions, with your dreams. Your dreams might really be heightened as well, because Pisces is a very spiritual sign, um, very intuitive. So things may come to the surface. Definitely getting new partnerships though, with these two. Some of you have a big decision to make here with this assessing that came out before. You know, where you're at. Um, your divine calling is really coming out in this whole reading with, you know, temple path, divine mission. So some of you are being guided here to, to really focus on this at this time, maybe make a change. It's all about renewal as well. Can be um, reconciliation, reunion, which has come out here, it's quite interesting. A lot of energy around return, reunion. Now this is very common as well during Mercury retrograde for people to return as they assess, you know, reassess how they feel, things come to the surface, um, potentially. But the Six of Wands is also about success, victory. Um, so it could be that some of you have abundance that flows in. The Queen of Pentacles, I'm seeing that. Uh, the Rabbits for fertility. But you know, like birthing something new, I'm feeling here, maybe your own 
business or project. Seeing the fruits of your labour pay off, which links the Seven of Pentacles. Then we got the Tower, no surprise there. This links with what I said about things crumbling that no longer serve us, whatever that relates to. Um, as I said, the full moon is a very good time to release. So it could be a connection or someone in your community, a job, something you've really been, some of you anyway, have been grabbing hold of and it's time to release. Even things from your past that you need to heal. Yeah, connecting with your emotions is coming out here. See, the heart is open, you know, it's on display, <laughs> um, like this door. So if you can open your heart, heal, release the past, learn, you know, you've learnt your lessons, you've ascended, then for some of you this door does open to love. Wow. Now the tower can be something quite unexpected as well for some of you. Something that happens unexpectedly. Let's get another one on the tower. The world, yeah. Completion of a cycle. Successful completion. Lessons learnt. Seeing again someone, you know, on top of the world. Three major arcana there, wow. Which is definitely showing lessons. Um, we've got major arcana here, yeah, quite a lot. So divine intervention as well during this time. The divine comes in to shake things up. I really feel. The High Priestess, Pisces energy, there's the moon. So the moon in Pisces, um, as I said, may highlight things in your dreams, in your intuition. Trust your intuition, trust your deep inner knowing. There's a ship coming in for some of you. A ship that some of you know is coming in. See, we're seeing that here. Someone gazing out into the distance, knowing this energy is coming towards them. Very spiritual connection, again, coming through. Page of Wands, yeah, learning. Wow, the Three of Pentacles, so building something new here. For some of you it is something um, alone, but it can show again a partnership. We've got three. And we've got two birds there showing a, a couple who build something on solid ground. As this tower crumbles, you know, anything not built on solid ground is destroyed. I'm feeling for some in the collective if this is the time. Wow, everyone, quite powerful. Um, let's finish with some Oracle of the uni Unicorns. So some guidance potentially from spirit. So we've got compassion 
First of all, be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. Yeah, that links with the tower. It's time to release, forgive. Doesn't mean taking anyone back. I am seeing returns for some of you. But it's just about letting go of that heavy, you know, heavy energy there. We got miracles. Have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. So that's very important. And um, you know, some of you are looking out there, sort of knowing something's on the way. As I said, your miracle is on the way. But let go of the control of how it happens, when it happens. Just trust. Flow. Yeah, green for the heart chakra there. So healing really coming out. Find an easier path forwards. Wow, and that links with temple path. The temple path should be easy. Um, it's not always, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to say that. There are obstacles. But in terms of relationships, this is what they want me to say here. Because, yeah, we're seeing two energies. If it's difficult, things are always getting in the way, you know, obstacles, it doesn't feel right, then trust that feeling within. There's something your, your soul is trying to tell you. Surrender the outcome. Wow, we've had surrender come out twice. In terms of how things work out, just let it go. Release your expectations. Then we've got passion. Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. Yeah, this really links again with what I said about your mission. Your purpose for some of you. If you felt stuck, you don't feel excited, well, get fired up, you know, about something that does um, evoke this passion within. Doing something you love doesn't feel like work. So some, some of you might feel very energised as well when you release, because Think about it, if you're grabbing on, you, you know, you've got this, that you're holding on to, this tower, it's heavy. When you can release, you really do feel the shift in your energy, you feel lighter. Okay everyone, I really hope you've enjoyed this reading. Um, sending peace, love and light to you all during Mercury retrograde and the full moon as well. <laughs>